If you have an Outlook.com account that has been migrated to the new server, you'll need to add it to Outlook 2003 using either POP or IMAP. The Outlook connector is no longer going to work. You can change the accounts either from Outlook's Tools email accounts menu or from the Control Panel Mail. You would go into the Control Panel and Open Mail. I'm going to do it from Outlook. You'll click Tools, Email Accounts, choose View or Change Existing Accounts and click Next. You'll add the IMAP account. You could add POP3. If you're going to use POP3, you need to enable POP3 support in your Outlook.com account. Click the account type and click Next. Now you put in your name, email address, and the server names. The incoming server is imapmail.outlook.com. The outgoing server is smtp-mail.outlook.com. You'll need to use your full email address as the username and then enter your password. Click more settings. You can change the name of the account if you want to. Click on outgoing server and enable the option for your outgoing server requires authentication and it will use the same settings as the incoming server. Click on the advanced tab and tick the box that your server requires an encrypted connection. This will change the incoming server port either to 993 if you're using IMAP or to 995 if you're using POP3. You'll want to tick the box for this server requires an encrypted connection for the outgoing server and you'll leave it on port 25. Click OK and click Next. This returns you to the dialog. If you don't have any other accounts in your profile or don't have a PST file in your profile, you'll need to click New Outlook Data File and add a new data file. You can click OK or you can type in a new name for your data file. This will hold your calendar and contact. Click OK. You can change the name if you desire. Click OK and return to the dialog. Before we remove the Outlook Connector account, we need to set the deliver location to the personal folders. And we need to set the IMAP account as default. Select the Connector account and click Remove. You also need to reset it to the personal folders again. And then click Finish. That returns you to Outlook. You should close Outlook and restart it if this is a new PST file in your profile so that it creates the calendar and contacts folders. After adding the account to Outlook, you will go into the control panel and find Add and Remove Programs. In the newer versions of Windows, it's under Programs and Features. You'll open that and uninstall the Outlook connector. When you reopen Outlook, you'll see that your personal folders are at the top with all of the folders in the view. And we have the IMAP folders down below. They're working on syncing right now. And if we send a message, the sent item is going to go into the Outbox in the personal folder. And after it's sent, it will be added to the sent items folder in the personal folders list. If you want to move it into the IMAP account so it's stored on the server, you'll either need to drag the sent messages or create a rule to move the sent messages.